Hi, I'm Dave Hebel and welcome to the ARC Specialties Lab. And uh, I guess today we're in about week eight of social distancing and you're probably as crazy as the rest of us and want to get out and move around. So I wanted to do something a little different today. And uh, so as an introduction, uh, how many times have you picked up a welding machine and, and tried welding uh, and nothing happens? So anyway, we start to weld, everything's ready, we think, and we flip our hood down and start to weld. Uh-oh, nothing's happening. The wire's just coming out. And we look down and we realize we haven't hooked the ground up. So let's try this again with a ground. Cut my wire off here. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we can make a weld with a ground. And I was just thinking, you know, we have wireless everything. We have Wi-Fi, we have Bluetooth. Why do we still have to have a ground when we weld? You say, well, it's to complete the circuit. Well, if we go back years and years ago, back huh, when I was a kid, we actually had a welding process where we didn't use a ground. And uh, you know, if you're welding a pressure vessel, say tandem arc, you have to go weld a tab on that uh, can handle four four aught cables. And so wouldn't it be nice if we could weld without all those cables? So that's what we're gonna do this afternoon, is we're gonna set up and we are going to weld without a ground cable. For today's demo, we pulled an old power supply out of the museum and a couple of old controls and motors, and we uh, set it up and we're gonna run a, what we call series arc. In the series arc, uh, one of the welding cables is connected to one of the output terminals, goes through the wire, and the, the current flows through the wire, through the arc to the plate, out, up through the other arc wire, and then to the other welding cable connected to the other terminal, the power supply. So the wires and the arcs are in series with each other. So we have one power supply, two wires, and two arcs. And so we will be running, this is a 332 wire, so we'll run about 450 to 460 amps. So there's just one current flowing through both wires and we'll have a deposition rate of about 30 pounds an hour. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, put some flux over the weld zone and we're gonna fire an arc so we can see what happens. Okay, okay we're gonna put our flux on here. Put a little extra at the stop and start, okay. Okay, after we made the weld, we're gonna go ahead and vacuum the flux off of it. So after we have the flux uh, <clears throat> removed, let's check it out. Okay, and there's our finished weld bead. Okay, as you can see, we have a weld bead that is about an inch and a half wide. And so you can see why this was used in the days before strip cladding became available. But it's a nice, smooth, uh, straight edges and uh, it has a little more penetration than uh, strip, but has a beautiful bead. For those of you who may think that we were actually grounding through the table, uh, I've gone ahead and I've put our plate on top of two wood blocks so that we're totally insulated from the table. One of the things I have to do is uh, move the, the, the voltage pickup leads from the table to the plate because I need to sense the actual voltage at the individual arcs. So that's how I'm 
picking up the voltage of the plate. Okay, let's get ready to weld. And again, we need to put our flux on. Okay. As you can see, we have a smoking part. Uh, that's the wood burning underneath the plate, uh, showing that it is insulated. Uh, it might suggest if you want to do this experiment, uh, if you picked hickory or uh, mesquite, you can go home smelling like a barbecue instead of a house fire. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you can see the smoke, but there are no mirrors, it's real. And uh, ah, the other one's fine, the heat's going through and we're starting to smoke on the other end. Well, thanks for stopping by today and uh, taking a walk back memories lane in a process that did not use a welding ground. And uh, if you need any more information, interested, uh, drop us a line uh, so we can communicate with you. Remember, here at ARC, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.